Yes, I'm a bit earlier today. Good morning, all for the ones that's morning. For me, it's midday, okay? Anyway, <coughs> my pleasure. <laughs> my pleasure, really, to be here with all of you. Really, well, uh, I, I was hoping, really, for Marcus to start this webinar, so I don't prepare an introductory speech, right? So, okay, Marcus, is, are you here? Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> He's turning on and off his mic. Anyway, no, no slides, Tulio. Okay, let's talk a bit before not using slides or whatever. Okay, the fact is that, as you may know, all of us had conducted, uh, <coughs> uh, I conducted the LIB ITC in Barcelona past year. Okay, the fact is that, uh, despite coming from different sides of the world, from being a bit of a different kind of traders, short term, long term, with different uh, experiences overall, okay? We have uh, Kim from Norway, we have Marcus from America, I'm from Argentina, Buenos Aires, really amazing, I know. Uh, and despite all, I found out, no show, no videos or slides, okay? I like to talk, I'm, I'm a woman, okay? <laughs> Sorry for that, but I'm a woman, I like to talk, okay? <laughs> I won't teach you anything today, right? We are going to talk about, about what this is meant to be, okay? <coughs> anyway, <laughs> the, as I was telling you, we have been all together in Barcelona past year for the ITC, and we all discover that despite coming from different parts of the, the world, okay? <laughs> Thank you, don't make me flush. Despite coming and having different styles of trading, the fact is that we all came from the same school. We all, uh, come in line with the basic concepts of trading, okay? And uh, I believe that if you come to this ITC online and pay attention to what we all said, you will find out that despite the different styles we all have, okay, the roots are the same. And that's the difference in between being a successful professional trader and a new one. Uh, one of the questions before starting this uh, presentation, okay, uh, I have received a couple of questions or comments or things to talk about today and share with you, okay? And one of the questions was, what is, no, no slide, okay? <laughs> yes, no, no talking about salsa today, just forex, okay? Anyway, <laughs> when I, re I was invited to perform this online ETC and this presentation for you to know what, what the ITC can offer to you, Okay, one of the questions I received was, what's the most awesome thing about myself? To be honest, 10 years ago, I will answer you everything. Okay, <laughs> but now, after many, many years, I have changed that view a lot. I have been a warrior of a medium company in here, right? And I give up all, everything and all for the forex trading. Okay, I was not happy with my previous life. It takes me two or three years time to study, okay, pay that price, and I don't regret it, okay. Today here, I gave in front of you, sharing my knowledge, okay, and teaching you day after day, as you can see if you visit uh, fxread.com page in, on a regular basis, okay. Uh, so I'm here teaching and sharing with all of you all the time, because I do get success in trading. I just live off of all my trading skills, okay, and I'm much more happier than in my past life. The only difference, thank you, uh, the, the only difference in between my past life and my actual life, okay, is as I told you at, at the beginning of this comment that I used to be a bit sober, right? Very self-paid of myself, right? I do believe that, uh, as I told you, if someone asks me what's the way some side of Valerie, it, I will ask, answer everything. Nowadays, I learn to be humble because market teach me to, right? It's not a shame to lose. It's not a shame to assume some losses. And as long as the winnings are bigger than the losses, and that's why you need to focus on, on the trading system, you are in the right path, you know? Anyway. Another comment I want to share with you about this, okay, uh, I'm a short-term trader particularly, okay, so with me you will learn to trade short-term trade. I love to trade one-hour charts, maybe 30 minutes, 
times and I have different profitable strategies trading okay that I apply on daily basis because I do believe in studying and understanding the behavior of each particular pair in each particular time frame. I do believe that each pair we saw across the board, okay, has a particular behavior that we need to know and understand, okay, to trade it. It's not the same trade, I don't know, dollar Japanese cents that has the daily average of 80 pips in good days than trading euro all day that has a daily average of 300 pips a day, right? Indicators don't work the same, but they are all useful, you know, because <laughs> indicators are not the key in trading, okay? The key is how do we understand the behavior of that indicator with that particular pair we are looking at. Anyway, uh, another thing I want to share with you, okay, is that I'm mostly a technical trader. My idea in this next uh, uh, ITC online, okay, we are going to perform with my colleagues here, yeah. is to show you a couple of systems of my own development. Yeah. Nothing complicated, nothing serious, nothing strange, okay? You're welcome, Ash. <laughs> I'm full of good advice, okay? Because I have been slumped by all those factors in the market in my first two years trading. <laughs> I, I do believe that recognizing our own mistakes, our human side, is the best thing we could do <laughs> to succeed in anything we propose in our life, okay? Hi, Phantom. Nice to see you too here. Anyway, the idea for this uh, ITC we are going to perform next month with my, all my colleagues is to share with you a trading strategy. In fact, I have two. I need to decide which one of those two will be the one that I will present. Or maybe I decide myself and present both. The idea of both strategies are uh, intraday trading strategies. Both human, I don't use expert advisors or robots, okay, but they are based on mathematical statistics studies, right? I don't want to trade. <laughs> yes, yes, I can do that too. You're right. I'm thinking about it. Uh, really, I would love to, to, to do both because one is designed for the Asian session, you know, just placing an order in by base of uh, mathematical calculation. <laughs> yes, we are not going to present them today on. It's something we are going to present in the online ITC, okay? But the general idea is to present both, either both or at least one of those strategies. <laughs> yes, uh, also, I will have a shorter time, but, but I guess the guys will be nice with me and let me talk a bit more. <laughs> I'm the only woman. Gillian, we have no lessons today, okay? This is an introduction to what ITC will be. If you want to see some parts of the market, you have plenty of more lessons today in the, in FXTrade.com uh, room, okay? <laughs> yes, I know you are all yours. Anyway, both strategies, one of the strategies, you know, uh, I always share this with the ones that follow me for a long time. And I see many familiar faces here, right? Is that when I started trading, the emotional control was my hardest part, okay? I wasn't able to control my emotions. I was scared of losing. I was greedy when I get into the market. So I tried to find out a strategy, okay, that filters all that. And I believe that I have one mathematical strategy, okay? Short term one tradable, okay, applied to more, almost any pair you have in the board, okay, that will give you at least one trade per day, per day, okay, that is the strategy based in three years of past history, okay, <laughs> yes, I have spent two months developing shows, studying, when I was younger and stronger, <laughs> I developed that, and then for just a couple of pairs, you know, and uh, as time goes by, I one day wonder, what if I try to apply this to another one, okay? And I found out that it works for every single pair in the board. Just the only thing. No, we don't have visions and internal, okay? Uh, I really don't believe in it. I didn't have a, enough time, sorry, for presenting, preparing a, a visual uh, hot, uh, 
PowerPoint, sorry, okay? Uh, and in fact, I didn't know we did it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what is the strategy? Is is what, something we are going to discuss in ITC, right? But the idea is to use just probabilities. Okay, we are going to to probabilities. Thank you, Boyki. ITC. ITC is the International Traders Conference. Okay, we perform one live past year. Okay, in Barcelona, October, November. Yes, exactly. And we, the idea today is to invite you to come to the ATC, okay? We are going to hold next year, but instead of live and in the involving traveling, okay, we will be through this hot home room. We are going to perform live trading with you, okay, all of us, experts, professionals, okay? We are going to show you <coughs> how do we trade and the techniques we use for trading, okay? You will find out and listen to this very carefully, okay? That as I commented at the beginning, coming from different parts of the world, having different education, different experience, we all agree in a bunch and five things, five or six things that made us who we are. If you manage to learn that from all of us, no doubt you will all become very, very successful traders, okay? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> what's going on here? You're all light, late, Rose Solansky. Yes, hopefully, I don't believe that. It's not. Okay, uh, the idea is, uh, not hopefully it's what's up, you know. I do believe that if you have work and you study, okay, everything is, uh, reliable. Okay, if you, you could succeed. Sorry. <coughs> anyway, the idea of my presentation, as you have been asking, uh, uh, and I have to explain it a bit for you, okay, is, uh, as I comment to you, a one day trade for each and every particular trade. The difference, or the important thing to consider in the, those particular trades, is that they are based on the last three or four years, <laughs> yes, of the boy, the last three or four years statistics, okay, for each pair. I have calculated the probabilities of accomplishing my target for each and every of the 16 major cross in the world. I found out that every cross has a particular day of the day, a particular hour of the day that tends to uh, offer more probabilities of success to the particular trading strategy I will teach you, okay? Anyway, that's the general idea of what we are going to held in this ITC live webinar, right? As a comment, I prefer short-term strategy. But having been in market so many years has helped us to this. No, there's no screen. Has helped me to develop and try to find that also long-term trade. I have a small strategy also for long-term trade, and that's the second one I was thinking um, to present to you, okay? It's a strategy. The idea is to find the probable bottom. I know it's something quite hard uh, to find sometimes. We are seeing euro crosses, euro Swiss franc, euro Canadian, euro Australian dollar uh, at multi year lows, for example, at this particular time. Canadian against dollar reaching almost parity, right? We, we are seeing that at this particular moment. So we, and we have very strong bearish trends. Are these trends going to extend? Or do we have a sign of bottoming? How could we forecast that probable bottoming? Well, I have prepared trading strategy for time. Uh, uh, yeah, well, it's a, it's an example, William, okay? It's an example, okay? It's a general idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, meaning those pairs are not Canadian, but Euro crosses are multi, multi year slows, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Anyway, the idea is how to detect those probable points of turning in most of the major crosses in long-term trading. That's the most idea at this time of my life in long-term trading, okay? I know that many of you want to make 1,000 pips, but the general idea is to understand that if we have a small account, okay, it's not worth 
uh, waiting for 1000 Wally that will develop in a couple of weeks or maybe months. Okay. And that's time. Yes. <laughs> 20 a day. Bien. Yeah. Good. Sorry. I said bien in Spanish because I was excited. <laughs> 20 a day. Exactly. 25th a day. It's much more better. Okay. That 1000 in three weeks. Okay. Uh, Dr. Rob, the ITC, ITC will take place in here, right? Through this hot common place. <coughs> yeah, okay. And the registration, okay, Maud will post the link, okay? Anyway, my pleasure to see you all here. Right, I will give the micro to someone else. If they let me, I will speak to you a couple of hours. So I will leave <laughs> my place, okay? And if you have any questions or comments, you know where to find me, right? See you soon, really. Okay. Um, did you hear me, everyone? I wanna, I wanna thank Valeria. And, um, no, we, we, um, sorry, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was on, on Valeria's, um, uh, sound, I'm sorry. Um, Marcus is still having trouble with his sound and the uh, Hotcom support is, uh, helping him right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna ask, uh, no Kim to talk, uh, while, uh, Marcus is, uh, fixing the issue. So, uh, now I'm going uh, to let Kim Larson uh, talking now, and he will explain you a bit his strategies and the presentation he will do uh, at the ITC Online. Uh, that is, the ITC Online is on April 6th until April 8th. I posted the link before. I will post it again. Kim will be a speaker at that event too. So I wanna, I wanna him to uh, present his, himself and his uh, strategies. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kim Kramer Larson. I run a small uh, technical analysis company uh, in Denmark, based in Denmark. It's called Finance Trend Analysis, together with my uh, partner. I had the honor of um, being a guest speaker at the, the ITC 2009 uh, in Barcelona with FX Street. <clears throat> Um, we're going to do this uh, seminar, this speech I had in Barcelona for about an hour. We're going to do that uh, right after Easter uh, here on uh, FX3. Um, but uh, who am I and uh, what do we do? Well, first of all, uh, my partner and I, we founded a company in, in uh, 2009, about a year ago. Until then, we have been working as a technical analyst at the, one of the biggest banks in the, in the Nordic region, Danske Bank. And before that, uh, I've played around the world. Um, I had a in the business administration, and I did my thesis, and I can see that including two years break. Um, our company, Financial Trend Analysis, we have been nominated twice uh, for our work. Um, last year we were awarded, uh, not awarded, we uh, were nominated in uh, the category Best FX Research Strategy uh, by the magazine The Technical Analyst. It's a London-based uh, magazine. I don't know if anyone of you are familiar with that, but that is the magazine for uh, technical analyst people. Again, this year, uh, we are nominated in a different con uh, category uh, in the best specialty product. We have also been a, uh, included in the new book uh, that came out here in October, November. In October, November, <clears throat> um, where you, uh, you can read more about our work. The, uh, the book itself is... Uh, uh, the book itself is uh, presented on our website. What I'm going to uh, talk to you about uh, at the, w the webinar uh, on the April 6th is how to ride the wave 
how to uh, and how to manage your risk. Uh, a little bit uh, like like the uh, surfer dude we see on our page here. <clears throat> um, and try to avoid the, the sharks below. We uh, will try to identify when the trends uh, start to build up and when they are about to end. And I have a question of the uh, website name. The website name is www.ftanalysis.com. There you have it. Okay. We will uh, have a, a look at bubbles. Bubbles in the market. Uh, I don't know if you uh, in uh, the bubble in um, the uh, between July and same and not uh, rising again. We are trying to find out uh, uh, as a, a, a trend starts and when and try to uh, determine where does it end. Of course, everyone remembers 1929, the famous one. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, here's your chart, here's the, uh, actually that is 1929. You can see there's a long, long, long way up. And the, so the mark is at the moment maybe one of the hardest and one, one of the most recognized um, technical analysts um, uh, of our time. Um, and the counting that you saw on the uh, the first page or the, the first uh, the last couple of pages uh, are in fact uh, Tom DeMarc counts. So that's what TD stands for. Then we'll talk a little bit about the secret. So what's the secret in tra trading FX? What's the secret in uh, uh, trading any kind of market? Treat? The secret is stops. Where to play stops? Stops in the market are extremely important. It's more, way more important than actually um, placing a target. It is where to place your stops. Same again. Better safe than sorry. Place your stops. That is, uh, in short, what I'm going to talk about uh, now on. Okay, well, you can see some of our work on fxstreet.com. And I can show you a little bit about it if you hang. Otherwise, you will be able to find it on... Hang on a sec. You will be able to find it on fxstreet.com where you can find it on our uh, work. It's called uh, Today's Trading Signals. And it, uh, you will find it on um, on uh, technical analysis. There should be a slide now. This is some of our work that we publish uh, every morning. I hope you can all see it now. You should be able to see it. Okay, uh, I think I will uh, stop it here. It was short, I know, uh, but uh, I hope you will all be back on the uh, the sixth of April, uh, where we are going to talk uh, talk about uh, bubbles in the markets, market exhaustions. We are going to talk about some demark uh, countdowns and uh, some demark sequentials. Um, and I believe that um, now it is Marcus' turn if. He has managed to uh, to connect to the net, and uh, his microphone is waiting. Are you there, Marcus? <laughs> it was a little bit stressful here, but now here I am, and I, I hope that uh, Valeria and then Kim has already told you some some great stuff here. <laughs> All right, now uh, we we have another twenty five minutes here, so that is great. We can delve right into well, what I want to do. I also so have a few things here. Let me just uh, make sure if I bring up something here. Can you guys see right now a, a slide that says your trading success? I uh, just want to make sure that we can all see this. Okay, awesome. Oh, look at this. Everything works. Everything is finally coming into place. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, guys. 
another year here. We have, uh, what, like 250 people in the room here, and I know that you are here to learn how to make money trading Forex, right? Good guess? Probably. So, this means that you probably want more, that you're not there where you want to be here right now. Maybe you're new to trading and you don't know exactly where to start. What do you need first? I mean, I just listened in here the, the final minute when Kim talked about the secret and everybody wants to know the secret. And Kim said one of the secrets here is using stops, where to play stops, right? Uh, maybe you're looking for a trading strategy. Uh, maybe you're looking for a platform. Maybe you're looking for a time frame. I mean, whatever it is, if you're new to trading, there's so much that you need to learn when trading Forex, right? At first, it sounds so simple, but then once you delve into it, it's more complicated. And if you've been trading for a while, you're probably not where you want to be. Because uh, based on my experience, those traders who are doing really great in Forex are not here in this webinar, right? I mean, usually the, the folks that are coming to this webinar want to learn more. So, you're ready to take your trading to the next level. And this is where I say, if I could show you how to achieve your trading goals, would you be interested? Rhetorical question, right? Just, just imagine. Now, imagine that you have a trading strategy that produces consistent profit. And the reason why I put consistent profits on there is because basically every trading strategy out there eventually produces some profits. I mean, uh, to date, I haven't seen a trading strategy with a 100% losing percentage. So there's, there's always, I mean, it doesn't matter what trading strategy you lose. Eventually, there will be a win. We know that when it comes to trading strategies, there are wins and there are losses. But you see, there are some trading strategies out there that produce a lot of losses, and then finally, bang, you have the winning trade. These are often trend following strategies with a rather low winning percentage. And I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Van Tharp's work. Uh, so Van Tharp call, uh, talks about multiple R. Uh, which means the risk to reward ratio here. So, uh, he says it's good to have a very high multiple R. What does it mean? It means that for every dollar that you risk, you should try to get five, eight, ten dollars out of the market. Yeah, that's, that's a great theoretical concept. And again, I, I really, um, like Ben Tharp's work. Um, but you see these days in the market, we don't have these long lasting trends anymore. And uh, most of the traders don't have the discipline or the patience that they can wait for this windfall profit. Because uh, most of these strategies just have a winning percentage of 20 to 30%, which means that you might have 8 or 10 losses in a row before you finally hit the jackpot. So what I want to show you is a strategy that produces consistent profit. Small, but consistent. So imagine that you can grow your account in such a way that every month you get closer to your dream life. See, as a trader, it is important that we do not have just one good month and then we have three or four months where eh, it's going so and so. And if you have been trading for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There is always a week, a day, or a month where you just hit the ball out of the park, where just Everything works in your favor. But if you want to make the, the, the jump to a professional trader where you can enjoy your dream life, you have to make sure that money is coming in month after month. It will not be possible. I'm not telling you that you will win money every single day. It doesn't work this way. There will be winning days. There will be losing days. There will be winning trades. There will be losing trades. But you see, you should be able to make money every week or at least every month. All right. Imagine waking up every morning confident 
in your trading, that you wake up, you sit in front of the screen and you're not biting your nails and wondering what will happen today. You are looking at the screens with a smile and say, yes, I know what I'm doing. I know that I'll have winning trades and losing trades, but I know that in the long run, it'll work out for me. Lack of confidence is a huge problem for many traders. So they are getting in front of their screen in the morning already scared of what will happen today based on their past experiences. See, especially when you're new to trading, you might have been trading on a simulator. And on a simulator, it might or might not have worked out. But you've been trading for several weeks or several months and you say, you know what, eventually I have to start making money. Let, let's just get started. Let's uh, tra trade a micro account or whatever it might be and get started here and let's see what happens. Then you used to lose some money and this is really not good for your confidence, okay? And just imagine getting up and feeling that you're finally on your way. So how can you do this? How can I help you do this? All right. Well, first of all, no, fortunately, I don't have the Holy Grail. But believe me, if I had it, I would give it to you. It's very cool. It is my favorite trading strategy for trading FX markets. And I, I want to be really specific. Yes, I wrote down Forex here. And when I sent out the invitation yesterday uh, to, to the folks that are on my list, I've read my book, requested some information, and I said, well, okay, today I'm participating in this uh, thing about Forex. I received quite a few responses where they said, I thought that you don't trade Forex. And that is true. But I do trade FX. I do trade FX futures. Is there a huge difference between Forex? Not really. Small things that I like. I uh, like that it's a regulated market. I do like that I have a narrow one pip spread. But other than this, the charts are charts. A chart is a chart, right? The futures market follows the cash market. So the strategies that I show you can be applied in Forex as well as in, as in FX futures. But just here for the sake of disclaimer, making sure that uh, you all know, no, I did not suddenly convert into a Forex trader, but I like trading FX. Okay, so I do like especially the euro versus the dollar. This is one of my favorite markets here. Okay, and this is what I'm going to show you. I want to show you how I set up my charts. And... Yeah, essentially, how to trade FX futures. And most importantly, I want to show you how you can duplicate what I do. I do not ask you to buy a specific charting software. I do not ask you to buy a specific indicator. And those of you who have been attending webinars with me in the past know that I'm showing you exactly what I plot on the screen. Yes, I am using a particular charting software. It's called Trade Navigator. But so what? I will show you exactly how you can color the charts in the same way as you see in the lower right-hand corner of the screen here. I will show you how you can create these triangles. I will show you how to create these lines. I will show you how to create this yellow shaded area with any charting software. It doesn't matter. So whatever you have right now, you're good. Most of the times, so let's say 90 to 95 percent of the charting software packages support what I do. There is a small percentage of charting software packages that do not support this, but hey, if you're really interested in this stuff, you might just change the charting software package. Okay? All right, good. Well, let's, uh, let's move on. So who the heck am I? I mean, those, those folks from my list. You probably know me, but uh, we invited, uh, I don't know, tens of thousands of people here to this webinar. And uh, we have, what, like 250 showing up? So some of you might not know me. That is me. Uh, Bright Smile, Marcus Hypecutter. This is my name. I've been trading for more than 20 years. Not day trading, although, right? Day trading, I think it was uh, since 2000. So it's coming close to 10 years right now. I, you know, I mean... Uh, 20 years ago, I didn't even have a computer. I think all well, the computer that I had was a Commodore 64. I couldn't plot charts. But I've been trading. I took the, the morning newspaper, took the quotes out of the newspaper, 
and draw my own point and figure chart. Yes, that's how I got, got started. Got started with stock trading and options trading based off and on end of day data. Loved option straddles at this time. Okay, well, it was way in the past. I'm originally from Germany. That's the accent that you're hearing. Uh, I've been working as an executive at IBM. And in 2002, I decided to quit the corporate rat race. Uh, told my wife we are moving to the U.S., to America. Went from Germany to America. Moved here to Austin, Texas. <clears throat> and uh, we've been living here ever since. Love it. This is my dream life. Okay? So for me, it was a dream to move to the United States. It's just a dream of me. For me, it was a dream, or it is a dream, to live somewhere where it's warm. Well, guess what? Just this morning, I came back from a small vacation. Here in Texas, yeah, we already have mid-70s. Okay, it's beautiful. <laughs> so I'm really relaxed this morning. All right, anyhow, let's move on. I have been writing a book a few years ago. I think it was two years ago. It's called The Complete Guide to Day Trading. Uh, it has become a bestseller uh, within days after its release. Right now, if you want, go to Amazon.com, type in trading, and uh, if you type in trading, the number two book that comes up is my book, The Complete Guide to Day Trading. You can buy it on Amazon for fifteen ninety five, or you can go to my website and download the ebook version for free. Anyhow, just saying. So apparently I know what I'm talking about if Amazon ranks me on number two for trading, right? Uh, yeah, I'm a trader. I'm a speaker. I have been at the International Traders Conference, same as Valerie and Kim, uh, Valeria and Kim. Always say Valerie. <laughs> no, Valeria. Love her. Uh, uh, same as Valeria, Kim, and all the other speakers that you're about to hear here last year. So we have been there in Spain. Uh, if you have been visiting the trading expos here in the United States, you might have seen me there. I'm speaking there for a CME group. I'm speaking uh, for... Uh, FX Street. I've been speaking for FX Street for years, so lots of archives there. And, uh, yeah, if you Google my name, Marcus Hypecutter, you'll see that I appear on more than 50,000 websites. When I did it yesterday, when I prepared this short presentation, it was 52,400 changes. So, yeah, I've been around. So, just, uh, that you know, I've been around, and even if you haven't heard about me, right now might be a good time to check me out, what I'm doing here. Okay, so, coming to the meat and potatoes here, love of the fluff, right? How I trade. First of all, I am using range bars. For those of you who have been attending any of my webinars, know about range bars. No range bars here. Because uh, very few people know about range bars. It seems to be a well-hidden thing like range bars. So, We'll talk about this here in a minute, what they are. <coughs> Secondly, I'm big in identifying the direction of the market, and this is something that you need to learn. Guys, just so that we are on the same page, if you cannot look at charge right now and tell me whether the market is going up, down, or sideways, you have absolutely no business trading. Why? Because... You first identify whether the market is going up, down, or sideways. And based on that, you use the appropriate trading strategy. Example, the market is going up, you buy, right? The market is going down, you sell. The market is going sideways, you scalp the market. The biggest mistake that traders make is that they are applying a trend-following strategy in a sideways market. It doesn't work. This is when you get whipsawed. Let's say you have a very simple strategy, um, crossing, uh, crossing moving averages, right? Crossing moving averages move, uh, work great in a trending market. In a sideways market, you're getting whipsawed. In a sideways market, you're experiencing more loss than usual, than usual. Yet, most traders just have one strategy and trade it all the time. Or, they even try to automate the strategy <laughs> and do the same thing than automating, right? Apply a strategy in the wrong market, but consistently and all the time, and wonder why they lose. Okay, so it is very important, and this is what I'm teaching you. 
to identify the direction of the market. And to date, I haven't seen a computer program that can do it. The only computer that I know that can identify the direction of the market is the computer right in between your ears, and it's called your brain. As human, inside our brain, we have something that is called a pattern recognition something, whatever it is. There's, there's even a fancy word for it, a Latin word. This is what we do as humans. We can recognize patterns faster and more reliable than any supercomputer that is out there. This is what makes us humans, and this is what makes us, as humans, superior traders. All right, now said. So, identify the direction of the market, use the appropriate trading strategy, and then use sound risk, trade, and money management. If you don't know about money management, if you cannot control your risk, if you do not know how to manage a trade, you will lose money even if all the other two criteria are met here, that you can identify the direction of the market and you have a profitable trading strategy. Ralph Inns has proven this in an experiment and in other webinars. I'm usually walking through this in more detail where you see that the, pro uh, that the profitable trading strategy alone is not enough to make money in the market. In this experiment, people were handed a profitable trading strategy and lost money. All right. So, let's talk about these range bars. So, we, uh, Because this is at least what I want you to take away. See, we were a little bit limited here because we said each speaker has 20 minutes. I want to thank Kim here for just taking 10 minutes, uh, giving me a little bit more time, giving me half an hour here. They can run through a few uh, things. Okay. Let's talk about the range bars. What are the three ways to look at markets? Well, it's charts. And you probably all know this. An example here, a five-minute chart, 60-minute chart, one-minute chart, a daily chart. And you know that a new bar or candle is plotted after a specified time has elapsed. So, for example, if you're displaying a five-minute chart, after five minutes, a new bar or new candle is plotted. Well, uh, this is probably used by 85 to 90 percent of traders. So, the vast majority of traders are using time-based charts. However, it's not the best. In fact, it has some significant disadvantages. Hold on one second here. Oh, just needed a sip of water. And uh, by, by the way, uh, the 85 to 95, 90% uh, of traders is just an estimate based on the webinars that I give where I do some surveys or I do some polls, the live seminars and speeches where I ask, okay, show of hands who is using this. All right. You're all familiar with this. We don't have to spend much more time on this. Second, we have the volume-based charts. Well, volume-based charts have become very popular, especially in 2009 and now in the beginning of 2010. Examples are 133 tick charts, 300 trade charts. You might have heard about this because in more and more forums, people talk about this. In more and more magazines, you read around uh, about time-based charts. Uh, volume-based charts. So a new bar or candle is, is plotted after a specified amount of trade took place. So, for example, 133 takes means after 133 trades took place, then a new bar is plotted. I would say this is probably used by 5 to 10 percent of traders, and uh, it is better, but still has significant disadvantages. And it's almost impossible to use volume-based charts if you're a forex trader, because in forex, as you know, volume information is tricky. The volume information that you get is only the volume information of your broker, not the volume information of all the trades that took place worldwide. So therefore, it's almost impossible to use volume-based charts as a forex trader. What you do here is that you take the time element out of the charts and uh, you basically expand a chart view during times of high volume, okay, when a lot of trading activity uh, takes place, and you contract it during uh, times of low volume. All right, let's move on. Volatility-based charts. For example, 16 tip range bars. A new bar or candle is plotted if the market moves a specified amount. In this case, 16 pips. Uh, it's used by maybe 5% of traders, maybe less. Okay? And I think they're awesome. And here's why. Um, so what is a range bar? A range bar has fixed length. For example, 16 pips, that's something that I like to use in the euro currency. 
And the next bar only forms when the market moves 17 pips from the high or the low. So it doesn't really matter how long it took or how many trades it took as long as the market moves. So we're taking volume information out of the market and time out of the market. And we're just looking at volatility. And guys, seriously, isn't that what we do as traders? Isn't that exactly what we look for? Volatility? Don't we want to do Do we really want to trade time? Do we want to trade volume? Or do we want to trade movement in the market? Volatility. That's what we trade. So why don't we look at it this way? Get the idea, huh? Okay. So, what are the advantages of range bars here? Well, first of all, you know where the high of the bar will be because the high of the bar will be exactly 16 pips away from the low of the bar. Um, it, it can't be any other way. This is by definition. And therefore, you also know where the low of the bar will be because it will be exactly 16 pips away from the high of the bar. can't be any other way. You know where the bar will close because by definition, as you can see here in this example, the bar will either close at the high or it will close at the low. There's no other way around. Can't be any other way. And you know where the next bar will open. So if the bar, previous bar, closed at the high, the next bar will open, as you can see on the second bar, one tick, one pip above the high. If the, like the second bar, the bar closes at the low, the next bar will open one pip below the low of the bar. Now just think about it. When you plot a bar or a candle, I know that some of you are candlestick fans and that's fine. What are the four variables that you have in plotting a bar or candle? It is the open, the high, the low, and the close, right? Take a look at this chart. You know where the high will be, you know where the low will be, you know where the bar will close, and you know where the next bar will open. Isn't that cool? But I think the most significant advantage of range bar is that it eliminates noise. Take a look at the, the chart in the upper left. This is a typical 15-minute chart of the euro currency, and you recognize it. On the left-hand side, there is some time during low activity where there is nothing going on, overnight session, for example. Then... Suddenly, the market moves. And you see this one long bar there? I don't know. If, can I use a pointer here? I don't know if you can see this. doesn't really matter. You get the point. You have this one long bar. Bang! And then the market is going sideways again. And to, towards the end of the day, it is, again, shooting up. So what is the problem that many traders have when looking at such a bar and using technical indicators? When you have the long bar, by the time your indicators are screaming, Bye! The move is already over and the market is going sideways. Now take a look at the 16 tick range bar uh, in the lower right hand corner here. Here you see that the times while the market is flat and not moving is condensed. And then you see instead of having this one long bar, you can see the pointer? Okay. Okay, um, so here during this move, you see it's not one long erratic bar. It's like 10 bars. There's even a retracement in there. So you see plenty of time to enter into the move. Also towards the end of the day. And during times when there's nothing going on, okay, it again collapsed. So this is the long move. And instead of having a whole bunch of nothing there, we only have a few bars of nothing. And then it points up again. Isn't that nice? Really love this. So how can you take advantage of range bars? How do you trade? Range bars. Well, probably have to click on this. This here is my famous ping pong strategy. That's it. It's one flight. Everything is on there. <laughs> so, yeah. What I do is I look at the first bar and I bracket the bar. I want to buy one tick below the low and sell one tick above the high. Wherever the market goes first. Buy at the low. Sell at the high, buy at the low, sell at the high. And you see how beautiful this works in a sideways market. And this is a strategy for a sideways market. But it doesn't work in a trending market, obviously. This is why I said it is so important that you learn how to identify the direction of the market. You first, like a doctor, have to diagnose the patient. See, okay, what is the market doing right now? 
this morning, for example, uh, I've been trading the E-mini S&P this morning. E-mini S&P, because again, I, for me, it doesn't matter what market I trade. I use range bars, and then the instruments now don't matter anymore. So this morning, this market has been going sideways. So what do I do? Buy the ping pong strategy. For how long? Until it starts trending. Then I use my favorite trend following strategy. Get the idea? I know. I'll really abbreviate it here, but I just have 20 minutes. And I'm already at 22 minutes right now. So <laughs> I need to wrap it up here right now. Okay? So, guys, seriously. Uh, I know that there are a bunch of questions coming in. We'll see what we can do here to help you. So, do you think, would it help you? If I showed you how to trade this strategy live while the markets are moving, if you would switch to the markets right now and watch the markets for the next two hours, and I show you how to trade the strategy, how to how to identify the direction of the market, then also would it help you if I, in addition to this, gave you another strategy for a trending market? Would it help you if we take now two hours? And uh, I explain to you what I see on the chart, when to trade, how much to risk on a trade, how to manage the trade. I do believe that this might help you. Well, you see, we're running a little bit out of time, but this is what we put together here. So what if six other Forex trading gurus did exactly the same? Show you their strategies. Uh, you look over their shoulder while the markets are open. I explain to you how much to risk, when to enter, when not. Do you think this could improve your trading? Maybe. Could this give you maybe one trading strategy that produced consistent profit if six people showed you several trading strategies? Do you think there's one trading strategy there that might be for you? Could this be, bring you closer to your goal that you want to achieve with your trading? So, this is what we got for you. Last year, this is what FXTrade.com did last year. We had an international traders conference. So, seven forex trading gurus were in Barcelona. Beautiful Barcelona in Spain. I think it's the most beautiful city in Europe. And I've been traveling a lot all over Europe because, as you know, I live in Germany. They presented this to a close group of only 40 traders. And they paid, it, I think it was 500 uh, euros, so it's around $700 plus travel expenses to go to Barcelona. So you can imagine it was more than $2,000 that these 40 traders um, uh, paid there. Okay, And uh, we did uh, three days of trading. We had one-on-one -on -one workshops, live trading, exactly what I just told you. And this is what we decided to do here right now. We bring this online to you. So this is what... Uh, Valeria and Kim have been talking about. These are the seven trading gurus. Valeria, Rob, James, Kim, myself, Asha, and, and uh, this conference to you at home. Can experience exactly the same online. It is April 6th through 8th, 2010. And uh, we do have a website for you that's coming up here where you see more information. But no, it is not $2,000. This is what I said last year. These folks paid $2,000 or more. And you know what? You can ask every single person in this group of 40 traders if they would pay it again. And they would say, absolutely, I got every single cent out of this. But we're slashing the price down, and we offer this to you for only $397. In fact, there's one more goodie for you. If you decide to register by the end of the week, you slash the price another $100. And so instead of paying more than $2,000, you pay only $297 for three days with these experts from, your com from the comfort of your, your armchair. Okay, plus something that we have not done last year. These 40 folks who paid more than $2,000, they had to take a bunch of notes. Okay, but here what we'll do, we're doing it online. We'll record it. Okay, 
these recordings. We might make it available later on. Might not. But we make this available to you if you register here. Included in your price of $297, you will get the recording of all these three days. Absolutely for free. Will be included. So, if you want to know more, go to tradersconference.com. Traders-conference.com. You'll see the exact schedule there. You'll see more information on the speakers. But this is why we did this here for you. I want to give you a glimpse. I wanted to show you what I will show you there. Okay? To get you an idea. And then, of course, we have more, um, more time for questions that are flying in there. Okay? So there, uh, Maud posted it. Tradersconference.com. Go to ITC online. International Traders Conference online.com. And check it out. And there's a register now button. And if you register before the end of this week, it's only 297. It is an early bird special. After this, I promise it will be 397. You can't get any in any cheaper than right now. So we'll be back here tomorrow with another three trading experts that show you briefly what they do so that you get an idea what is going on at this conference here. So tomorrow morning, we'll kick it off with Rob Booker, and you probably all know Rob, right? So uh, then we have uh, Andre Pehar. I hope that I pronounced his last name correctly. If not, I know that everybody butchers my last name, so I hope that Andre forgives me here. So he'll be here. He'll talk about his trading style. And then we also have James Chen talking about his trading and how he approaches the market. And you will see, as you see today, all these experts approach the market differently, and this is your chance in three days, compact, listen to seven different approaches to the market, and find the one that suits you best. All right. Now that we're running a little bit out of time here, <laughs> okay. <coughs> so there we go, and uh, yes, uh, I think that Mark posted a, a lot of stuff here. So um, we have a special discount until Sunday, it is actually. This is where I see it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we absolutely. We have to bring in back here uh, Val and Kim uh, to also say hi. Are you guys still there, uh, Val and Kim? Let's see if I can get, get them back in here. Okay. Come on in. Open your mic. All right. Because we're about to close the room here in a second. We have to leave. There's, uh, there are other great things going on here, oh, okay. here today. I'm here, but I don't have a headphone, so I will overlap the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mic, my mic was off. <laughs> All right, no worries. So it is great to have you here, and I'm sorry that I missed the first uh, couple of minutes when, when you were speaking. I'm very much looking forward to trading with you again, and, and guys, this is another awesome thing. I mean, for me, as a speaker, as a trader, as an educator, believe me, I'm sitting in every single session, and I enjoy so much what I hear because there's always something that I learn. You can't learn less. Keep this in mind. You cannot learn less. So this is why I'm always excited listening to Kim, listening to Val, and listening to all the other speakers. I always take something away from my personal trading. And this is what we want to offer to you. All right. Uh, Kim, Val, do you have any closing remarks? No, no, not at all. I think you have, uh, I think you, as usual, have, uh, you have covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it's just great to have this, this trading experts coming together from all that Val said in the beginning uh, no, in, in South America. Um, Kim, you are um, you're in Denmark or Sweden? Sorry, Denmark. 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 There we go. Okay. Denmark. And yes. Then we have the all the other guys joining us all over the world. Be great because you don't want to miss this, believe me. All right. Excellent. Cool. Yes. I, I do want the regret because these days. Pay attention to us. <laughs> All right. You will enjoy it. Wonderful. Really. Well. So, 
I need to get out of here. Uh, I'll be back here uh, because I'm moderating, and I promise tomorrow it will be much smoother. If you want to hear from the other Forex trading uh, gurus that we have invited here, as I said, tomorrow, Rob, Andre, and James will be on. Okay, so same time, and uh, you're probably already registered. Otherwise, uh, you will have, uh, you, you see a link here where you can register. Maybe Mod can post it one more time. Hope that you'll be back tomorrow morning and uh, we'll be on time schedule tomorrow morning. So 20 minutes, these guys will present quickly what they do, what you can learn from them. And you see, it's worth even uh, even join an hour. Maybe you took something away from today, right? From Val or from Kim or maybe like the idea of range bars, okay? You go back to your charting software right now and you, you apply a 16 pip range bar to the euro and say, wow, this looks cool. Now, I hope that you can use some of the information that we gave you today to make money and pay for vacation. It'll be worth much. It'll be worth it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you back tomorrow morning. And uh, you know, today, thank you very much, uh, Val and Kim, for being here this morning. Really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Uh, thanks to FXStreet.com for making this. My pleasure. Hosting this event. All right. Thanks and bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, I want to add just the thing for those who was, are asking for the bar chart. You can look in the fxrate.com, uh, fxrate.com forums, okay? I will try to post the link in my blog right now. I have a blog at fxrate.com, okay? I will try to post the link to the bar chart there so you can get it. Anyway, hope to see you all really. I will be back late with an educative webinar. So, see you later all. Bye-bye.